They have constantly, of course, Megan, snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. You saw just this past Sunday, 10 penalties, 109 yards total. Right. And of course, the defense giving up a game winning drive, allowing Carolina only to go four plays, 64 yards and coming up with that game winning drive. What have you seen really out of this defense and the team in the seven game losing streak? This is ultimately and quite frankly, just not the standard that the Saints have played to. You talked about the 2019 season. They've just had a down year for the past couple of years, have not seen the playoffs, and that's just not the way that Saints football is, is, is to be like remembered or to be recalled, if you will. Right, definitely. And the way that this has gone about, you thought the way the season started, you go 2-0, how inexcusable do you think it was, the fact that you dominate the Carolina Panthers, beat them by 37 points in week one, and then you only managed 22 points in week two, in week rather nine, 10, whatever it is at this point, I'm losing track, right. and you still come up short. And that's something that I asked head coach Dennis or former head coach Dennis Allen at the time. I said, how do you prepare for a team that at the time was one in seven? And he said, at, at the end of the day, we have to focus on ourselves. Now, I'm not sure what the disconnect was between the last week and yesterday's loss, but losing to the Carolina Panthers, who are now two and seven due to that victory is really inexcusable. Definitely. And the most inexcusable thing rather would be you lose to the worst team of the NFL. Now you're tied for the worst record in the NFL. Yeah. You heard Darren Rizzi speaking earlier today. What do you think about him would give new energy to this team? Well, Tyron Matthew has said that he believes in him. We're going to talk about that a little later as well. But he said he believes in him. He's a straight shooter. There's no secrets. And accountability will continue to be key as this team move forward. Definitely. And we will talk about accountability coming up at 6 o'clock. Until then, Mr. Mills, back to you. <laughs>